KT News katika kaunti ya Singisho. Kamati ya bunge ya fedha imeandaa kikao na walionufaika na mradi wa nyumba za bei nafuu kupata maoni yao kuhusu mpango wa serikali wa kuwakata walioajiriwa kutozwa asilimia tatu ya mishahara yao kufadhili mradi mpya wa serikali wa ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu. Wengi wakisema kuwa ni baadhi ya watu waliofaidi kwenye mradi wa kwanza na kutaka kufahamu nani atasimamia fedha hizo huku kamati hiyo pia ikisema mapendekezo ya bajeti ya mwaka huu yatafaa kufanyiwa mabadiliko wili lusige na taarifa hiyo kwa mara ya kwanza walofaidi kwenye mradi wa serikali uliopita ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu hususan katika jiji la Nairobi walifika mbele ya kamati ya bunge ya fedha kuelezea mchakato mpango huo na iwapo walifaidi na kupokea maoni yao kuhusu mpango wa serikali wa kuwataka wakenya walioajiriwa kutoa asilimia tatu ya mishahara yao kwa minajili ya mradi mpya wa nyumba za bei nafuu we are in support of the housing levy uh, to ensure that our youth are Uh, get uh, get jobs uh, get employment wengi wao wamedai hawakufaidi moja kwa moja ila wapo walofaidi tulikuwa tumepewa nyumba uh, hamsini na kwa hizo zote ni watu saba watu nane peke yake walikuwa walifai kulipa ile interest ile deposit waliibua mwasali kuhusu mapendekezo mapya ya serikali ya kuwatoza wa Kenya walioajiriwa tatu ya mishahara yao kwa minajili ya mradi mpya wa nyumba nafuu the committee has to consider the impact that the additional levy will have on salaried workers and remember that there has recently been an increase in NSSF contributions there has also been a proposed increase of 2.7% of gross for NHIF and on top of that the proposed 35% rate for top earners which means that for some taxpayers you may see an 11.7% increase in their in their in their taxes wengi wao wakisema licha kwa mradi huo huendo kwa faidi baadhi ya wakenya wanataka kujua nani atakuwa anashikilia fedha hizo mchakato wa ujenzi kitakachojiri baada ya miaka saba ilo ahidiwa they use a funding a fund system or would the money they are getting be part of their taxation so that the money received goes through the consolidated consolidated fund uh, we've seen various figures um, from various points of view and perspectives yet we don't know which one is is the real figure because for example we do not have kra's modeling of how much would this actually or treasury's modeling of how much would this would this levy actually raise kamati hiyo ya bunge imesema kutakuwa na mapendekezo kadhaa na kusema kuwa pia imepokea mapendekezo ya mabadiliko kwenye mapendekezo ya bajeti ya mwaka 2023 kutokana na maoni walopata kutoka kwa wakenya have reiterated that the finance bill cannot possibly just pass as it is there has to be some amendments that have to be made so that one they align with the constitution and two the, the, the views of the various stakeholders that are actually even told us ideas of how we can generate more income are actually incorporated in the bill Machi yote atalenga kuona ripoti itakayotolewa na kamati hiyo ya bunge baada ya kukamilika kwa vikao hivyo vya umma kuhusu mapendekezo ya bajeti na mradi wa ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu the amendment proposes uh, uh, um, the payment or, or that you can cash back uh, the, your investment after seven years if you don't want to benefit from, uh, from the scheme so the question is what will be the interest uh, uh, from that fund if if i get back they're asking what is the duration of time will you news nairobi